She looks like any other city dog, used to walking the manicured pathways of Central Park, meeting new friends, feeling at home in her urban world. To look at this pup, you would never know that her true home was once China's brutal Gobi Desert, where temperatures can swing from 40 below zero to a sweltering 110 degrees. And that's all within 24 hours. Well, I actually saw her on the end of stage one and I saw her around the campfire grabbing some food off some of the other runners and uh, getting pats from everyone. And I thought that's a pretty, uh, pretty cute little dog. And, but on day two of the race, I actually saw her at the bottom of my feet and we were just about to start off and she was looking up at me with these big brown eyes and she just had this incredible look about her. It was a little more than a year ago when Dion Leonard, a Scottish ultra marathon runner, was competing in his most challenging race to date, a grueling 155 mile seven day sprint through China's Gobi Desert. When he saw the most unexpected sight, out of nowhere, a tiny dog scampering at his feet. She actually stayed with me for the whole stage of that race, which was 25-ish miles. We crossed the Tian Shan mountain range as well, and uh, it was just unbelievable that she could do it. They continued on for 23 miles. How she kept up, no one can explain. But an unbreakable bond was forming. Out of 100 runners, she stuck by the side of Dion. Why you? That is the million dollar question. I have no idea and I wish you could tell me every day, I think. <laughs> Please tell me why. This is an incredibly determined little dog that is so resilient that just wants to be with me. And I thought, I've got to help her. And I wanted her to, to be part of my life already. You know, very quickly I sort of started to realize that she was becoming important to me as well. He named her Gobi and she soon became the beloved mascot of the race. It would be nice to say the story ended happily there, but the far greater challenges lay ahead. Before Dion could bring Gobi back to the UK, Chinese law required the dog be quarantined for four months. He left Gobi with one of the Chinese organizers of the race who had volunteered to watch her. But less than a week into their separation, Dion received chilling news. Gobi had gone missing. I just became aware that this was not going to happen, finding her. It was a needle in a haystack. So sad that I was never going to find my, my best friend again. Knowing chances were slim, Dion nevertheless went back to China to join the search team. There were lots of false leads, dead ends, and then almost a week into the search, a break. A restaurant owner reported his son had found a dog matching Gobi's description. So they chased yet one more lead. And that actually, when we walked into the room where Gobi was, at the family that had found her walking through the park, I could not believe my eyes when she came running across the room. She jumped up into my arms and she was squealing and whining and barking and yelping. This time, the two would not be parted. Dion wasn't leaving Gobi's side. Quarantined together, the two waited out the four months in a Beijing apartment. In January of this year, Gobi arrived in her new home in Edinburgh, Scotland. <laughs> now, so much to take in for this little dog from the desert. Uh, we run around the trails of Edinburgh and we walk the streets together and she just likes being involved with whatever it is I'm doing. and She really is the ultimate rescue, isn't she? That's the incredible part of our, our journey and our story that we're sharing with people through the book. And uh, I think that the love between us has proven um, unbreakable.